if I could only have one bushcrafting knife, this is the one I'm taking. Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the one knife I would choose if I could only have one knife for bushcrafting forever, which luckily that is not the case, but if it had to be, which knife would I take and why? So before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, the support all means a ton. So without any further ado, let's talk about this little bushcrafting blade. So the knife in question here is the Bark River Knives or BRK Bushcrafter. And this one in particular, there are a number of flavors and variants out there. This one is the original Bushcrafter in CPM 3V. Now every once in a while they do, they do drops of these knives. And so if you are lucky enough to get one, consider yourself blessed. They did one not too long ago. So they are still making them in batches and they drop them every once in a while. But uh, yeah, so that is the knife in question, and hopefully there's some good close-ups for you guys to see this little blade. Of course, I'll continue to feature close-ups. So why this knife? So it's kind of a double question. Uh, so for me, it's kind of two reasons as to why I would choose this knife. The first one is, even though I've had a lot of knives over my course of bushcrafting, in survival and knife collecting as a whole. The BRK Bushcrafter is one that I've had for a very long time, close to 10 years, and I'm very experienced with it. I know that for me, it just fits, and I kind of have this uh, muscle memory. When I go to grab it, I know just how to hold it, I know just how to use it to do certain tasks, whether it's, you know, a feather sticking, or whether it's notching, carving, striking ferro rods, scraping uh, things with the spine. I just know how to hold it, and it fits me very well. So this knife, like I said, it, it feels like a old glove or a well-broken in shoe to me when I you know put it on or when I hold this knife it really just feels right for me so that's kind of the first component uh, the second one is just the materials and the fit and feel of course like I said there's many knives out there and not everyone will you know think that the BRK Bushcrafter is comfortable for them but for my hand size it feels perfect and the blade size is very manageable the other thing is, everything on this knife, at least in my, like I said, to my feel and to my experience, is really just about perfect. You have an excellent steel made out of CPM 3V, though there are other uh, blade steels made. You also have a blade thickness of 530 seconds, and 530 seconds is definitely not a typical thickness for a knife. Uh, there are more knives nowadays that feature 530 seconds, but realistically, that, you know, 0 0.15 inch thick or 530 seconds thickness is really where it's at. I feel like that thickness is very hard to go wrong with and it makes your knife stout enough that it can take an abusing but also thick enough that it can hold up to most common tasks. So it makes it thick enough to hold up to a beating but also it's not overly thick so you can still do a lot of fine tooth tasks things like making netting needles doing fine task or fine tooth carving uh, and making traps notches stuff like that the 530 seconds is a really versatile thickness because it is still thin enough to do a lot of those smaller tasks but still thick enough to take a lot of abuse especially in a steel like cpm 3v or crew wear or magna cut or any of those types of tougher alloy steels. So in addition to that, lastly, this handle shape and length is really great. For me, I have about larger sized medium hands, uh, or I'd say medium to maybe medium large, but definitely medium sized hands, and this handle fits perfectly for me. Not only that, the Coke bottle shape of this handle is really fantastic. It is just very hard to describe. You know, some people might be like a Coke bottle shaped handle. That's kind of weird. And that's something that um, Bark River kind of coined themselves, but it really does the silhouette look a lot like a traditional classic glass Coke bottle. And the feel of it is really great. It's very tapered towards the front, allowing your hand to really come to a complete grasp around it 
but it kind of thickens up towards the back, kind of giving you an even feel uh, entirely. So it's a very, very comfortable handle. And once again, this is the type of knife that you could hold for hours on end doing different carving or crafting projects. And it's never going to produce hot spots or you know build up an uncomfortable area or blister uh, along the hand. So those are the two primary reasons that I really do enjoy the BRK Bushcrafter. It is, uh, just like I said, very comfortable, very well built, and very well suited to my tasks. Now, in addition to that, this does also have a Scandivex, which is a convex Scandi grind blade uh, or grind. And I think that that Scandivex is a really excellent bridge between having a convex or the strengths that convex grinds have, but also leading towards the strengths that a Scandi grind blade has. Both are really good grinds in their own rights, and I don't particularly love full convex ground blades, but a Scandivex allows the very cutting edge to have extra uh, rigidity and stability, but also still allow you a very nice, very slender edge, like very cutting edge. And in addition to having that Scandinavian ground blade where, you know, your grind doesn't start until over about, you know, like about two thirds of the way down the blade. So you still have a lot of strength and rigidity within your spine. Uh, to allow you for really, if you have to baton, if you have to do more industrious tasks with your blade, it's going to hold up very well. In addition to that too, it also gives your tip good strength because on a traditional convex grind, your tip will start to taper out earlier than on a Scandivex. So you have extra steel towards the tip, making the tip stronger and less fragile. So ultimately, those are some of the reasons why I like it. Now I've had different, I've had a few Bushcrafters over my course of time. I regretted selling my first one, so I did get a second one, but either one of them have served me so well. I do really enjoy carrying them. And honestly, it is just a lot of fun to use and to carry the BRK Bushcrafter. So that is essentially why I would never get rid of it, why it is the only one I would have if I had to sell off all my other Bushcrafting knives tomorrow, I would definitely make sure that I keep the BRK Bushcrafter. It's certainly not new to my collection, Collection, and that's why I do like to incorporate a lot of new knives into the knife collection is because every once in a while, you know, it's nice to mix things up, but I don't think I would really realistically ever let go of this blade just because one, I already have regretted it and bought another one. And two, it is just really a fantastic kind of do all catch all wilderness blade, even for other tasks such as camping, still a really fantastic knife. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot that in a skilled hand that this be RK Bushcrafter can't do. Okay guys, that is pretty much all I have to say about the BRK Bushcrafter, why I wouldn't get rid of it, and why it is my one blade, my one bushcrafting blade. Okay, God bless, and I'm out.